Yes, I see all your body bam bam Baby make you do me a rubber dub style And if you do me a rubber man style Where will you touch me the cool man?
You didn't tell me Charles was a special invited guest. Charles. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You are... So you invited me all the way from Lagos. Just to set me up? What are you talking about? Sylvia, I trusted you. I trusted you. I mean, why would you do this to me? I have you no know? idea what you're talking about. You are so inconsiderate. You are so freaking inconsiderate. <laughs> I mean, what do I expect from a slimy snake like you? <laughs> oh, really? I think that name suits you better, my darling. Because if you had once in your miserable life confided in me, I wouldn't be as afloat with confusion as I am right now. I don't understand what's going on. How long are you going to continue to run? I'm, I'm sorry. I said that to you a million times. What did I not do for you to give me a chance to tell my own side of the story? I think it's high time you tell me that till you swore never to tell. I felt trapped. from you and not even from anybody. I don't have proof for what I just told you now. But sincerely, it doesn't take for alarms. Hi. We have to follow us to the hospital for a test. Yes, but we need to act with wisdom on it. Where are you heading? Um, Papa, um, to school. One of my classmates just called me and told me that we are having a test tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. So I want to go and sleep over in school so I don't miss it. I'm sorry, you will have to miss the test. But we are heading for the hospital first thing tomorrow morning. But Papa, why? When you get there, you find out. Woman, stay clear from this! 
that was an authoritative father whose words could not be argued, nor his instructions disobeyed. Okay, so I knew the truth all along. I was tired of keeping it. I had to spin it out and face the consequences whichever way it came. Papa, I'm sorry. Mama, please forgive me. I didn't mean to. Please, I didn't know it was going to happen. I, I, it's the devil's work. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Papa. Papa, please, I don't know what to do. Papa, please. Mama, please make Papa for me, please. I didn't know what I was doing. Please. Please. Mama, please, I'm sorry. Mom didn't even say a word to me. I dreaded that silence. I knew something disastrous was coming, but I couldn't wait to face it. And so, that same night, I snuck out of the house. <laughs> that was the last time. I said I saw my parents. To where? Back to school. I'm hoping to go tell my boyfriend the result of what I keep back here. I never made it back to school. I ended up standing on the road. Don't see him now. I don't want to tell someone to come. Come with me in a street access. No guys. No, I don't see him. Oh, we are there. A full bank. Don't see everything now. Full one. I'll be. I've got prince. I go give it away one time. Show sure, take it for now. See, see. We are my son. That one night go join us. Yeah. Who's money? That one. That one. My beggar. This that one. I'm a dress. My money. My beggar. Um. That is all this one. This one. This one. Sex like this. I pack all of them. I put at the same night. Show you get that again. Then. Same night. Oh, bros, give me my money, they go. Hurry up now. I, I wait now. I go pay you your money now. I need to go hustle and that customer beg. Hurry. Don't be money they bring like this. Like beg, give me my money. Hurry now, give me my money. They say money days to bring. Give me money. How they come? I will bring her. I beg, give me my money. I beg, make her the counter. When they do, they do, they do, they do like this. They won't come out. You said this money, why? Yes, my money no complete. My money no complete. Complete my money. I will get another money. Hundred naira they remain. Which hundred naira they remain? Hundred naira they remain. Give me my money. I know what here. I beg. When they do, they do. You know what I say? You no get hundred naira. It's me this one. Nonsense. Which can't me? 
So that now I'm like, hey, come. Now only this money, then my bag. I'm not carrying that money. Tomorrow I will See, give you. See, they owe me money. Can you add up? They go. Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? Can you break water for your head? Can you go away? Bad markets. Come shut my money. My hundred naira. This money where I don't plan finish. She can't bad market with this now. So that was how we met. I don't get it. Did you actually go to a brothel? Look, I was driving past. I saw her and I was held spellbound. Look, I, I don't know why I didn't continue my trip until I had her in my car. Just tell me you did not take that girl to your house. I wish I could say so. Oh, damn it. I can't believe this, Charles. I can't. Don't judge me, man. Don't judge me. Shouldn't you be asking what followed after? Me, I know they understand you. She be, we come here for business now. Eh? She ain't going to sit down. Anyway, Sha, before we start, pay my money. Sit down first, I want to talk. Eh? I'm not coming here to sit down, I beg. I know they joke with my nights. It's time now, time for business. When I finish with you, I block another customer. So I beg, no time to waste time. Pay my money. Paying you much more than you asked for. <laughs> now, sit down. Let's talk. I want to reason with you. Bros, so you give me so. Now, many hours? We now all night. No worry. So, now for all night, I will show you action. Which side you like? I will give you. Wait. Like this time. Which one? You want? Sit down. Bro, this is your sit down matter. I don't retire me sit now. Down. I come here for business. I know if you sit down. I paid you sit down. Oh, now your money won't take the use to insult me now. If you want insult because of this money, make you take your money. And how long are you going to continue to live in this place? You think I don't see beyond this attitude you're trying to put on? This is not you. You spoke so intelligently in the car. You're supposed to be in school, not on the streets.
Now who? I'm Kogiti. Come up from my door. I say I know day. I shall I own show. Open. Your mama I shall. You decrease. Ah, uh, the people say you don't make her this night too. This is why we see money they quarrel. Open. I'm not gonna go away until I get what I want. You have to wait for eternity. All right, fine. I'm ready to wait until eternity. Come on, I just want to talk to you. Trust me, I'm ready to do this all day. We're so far now. Fine boy. Just look me eye first now. Eh? Ross. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be by force now. <laughs> Rose, I'll do you well, I swear. Why? Uh, look, look, look. I'm with somebody already, eh? Damn. See, I'm safe. You never find no sense. Thank you. Come on, please, please. Open the door for me. I didn't know what he wanted. Even though I had this strong conviction that he was for real. But I'm scared. I'm scared of what? I couldn't tell. And then was cute. But besides being cute, he, he possessed qualities that any woman would die and would desire to have. He was persistent in chasing me and it made me fall for him even more. But I kept running. And he kept chasing. And then, on this fateful day, when I got tired of running, it flipped the page of my life with this request that no woman on earth would ever turn down. Please let me have a word with you. Marie. I can't. I'm a prostitute. I don't care. I'm not going to use this part of your life to judge you. And I will never intentionally hurt you. Come on.
tell me you are joking. Are you trying to tell me that the woman you were planning to marry was a whore? She was not a whore from birth. Circumstances led her to do what she did for a living. And who cares? I did. I wasn't going after her for anything else. I was convinced that she was the one for me. And you know what? A few days after I proposed to her, my life turned around. I got a call that engineered my break in the music industry. A breakthrough that changed my life forever. Congratulations, Charles. The board of directors is a records label. Having listened to your promo track, I've agreed to sign you. Yes! Yes! That means you have to get ready because you'll soon be going to the studio to do new materials. <laughs> and after that, the whole process of turning you into becoming a mega star will begin. The promotions, the marketing, and the packaging, in fact, we are going to change your wardrobe. Wait. Yes. We'll get you a car and a new apartment. Whoa! So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's oh. okay, but there is something I want to ask. Yes, uh, what is this? Uh, most especially now that music has become your career. How do you intend to manage it vis a vis your job as a private tutor? <laughs> it will stop. It will stop. Um, you see, my job as a tutor was also all about music. I am a music tutor. Maybe with time, the uh, company can establish a music academy where we can train upcoming artists. Then my skills as a music tutor will become of great importance to the company. But for now, everything is put on hold and I'm going to concentrate 100% on this record deal. <laughs> Once again, I have felt congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, easy records! <laughs> you can say that again. Ah. Oh my god. Ah. You scared me. Yeah, you don't be scared. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I scared you. God. Guess what? What? I say you should guess. You got a new job? Bigger than that? You won a lottery? Nope. Gosh. Come on, come on, you can Seriously, do better. I'm sorry, I'm really. Um, come on. You got a new lover? Now you've just been funny. Oh man, I'm tired. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> what is this? I just got signed by the biggest record label in town. Easy Records. Oh my god. Easy Records. Are you joking? I'm gonna be a superstar. This is good. This is the best this ever! Oh I'm gonna be super stop. I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so happy for oh. you. This is the best news no. ever. Don't be happy for me. Be happy for us. It's not just about me. Okay. Wow. Alright. It's about us now. No, no, we can't do this. What? Um, you have to leave now. Do you really love me like you claim you do? I love you and that is why you are here. Then why are you refusing me? For the same reason that I didn't accept your marriage proposal. I truly do love you. What is it you're not telling me? I'm 
I'm a prostitute. You were. You're not anymore. <sighs> what is it? I don't think I can conquer my fears to accept this life that you're offering me. Please go. What are you talking about? I was in love with him. I couldn't give him what he really wanted. Why? I mean, as a sex worker you were, why was it difficult to have sex with him? Because I was trying to protect him from the reason I started prostituting in the first place. Okay, I am sincerely confused. Charles never gave up on me. He insisted on the marriage proposal to me. He took me out. We went places, the best restaurants, cinemas, swimming. We became each other's shadow. My colleagues at the Charlotte concluded that I found myself a real man. So, why did you hide him from me? Not just you. I was afraid of losing him to So what happened? Oh. How did the table of fate get turned against both of you? Is that the end of the story? What happened next? As I grew in my music career, my relationship alongside Lisa Grimm. I also released my debut album with Easy Records in a month's time. I was hoping to marry Lisa three months after she accepted my proposal. We had a good time. We went to the cinemas. We went to fancy restaurants. When swimming, these are necessities amongst lovers. Tell me what you know I want to hear. Where comes the leakage in the both of your relationships? My curiosity owes the answer to that question. I was eager to know why a prostitute was refusing me that which she gives freely to others. On this horrible night, we had this fierce argument that dug up buried wounds. Where are you going? Oh God. I can't take this anymore. Do you want to rape me now? You want to rape me, right? Go ahead! I can't have you cheat on me after I've spent so much on you. How much have you spent? Tell me, I'll pay back everything. You pay me back. How will you pay me back for the patience I've exercised? How will you pay me back for the time that I have spent to make you see how much you mean to me? How will you compensate for the love that I have lavished on you and the sacrifice of my emotions? You have broken down doors in my life that has 
that took ages to open. Can't you see that you're the woman I need to obtain favor from God? Charles, I love you too. Truly, I do. I mean, you're so kind and loving. I've never met a man like you. I mean, but you deserve someone better. I mean, you don't do. You deserve someone that can give you love, care, hope, something everlasting, not me. What is stopping you then? Why don't you want to marry me? Prostituting was never something I hoped to do. It was never on the list of things that I wanted to do as a woman. I became a sex worker to carry out my ploy as a vengeance against men. A year ago, I ran away from home, hoping to elope with my boyfriend, to escape the wrath of my father who found out I was pregnant and I knew he was going to skin me alive. <sighs> On that fateful night, while escaping, I fell into a ditch that I will never forget. So, where are you headed? School. School? Yes. And by this time? But why? It's pretty late. <laughs> it seems private. Somehow. I don't want to talk about it. The room was dark, as at the time, I couldn't see their faces. There were about two of them, and then I heard more footsteps. I couldn't tell their faces, but what was very distinct were their voices. You guys not gonna like surprises. The best thing guys here. I think I'm gonna I don't like surprises, man. Come on. Just pull, pull it off. Ah! Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Surprise! Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Happy birthday, Charlie. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Come on, man. Catch trips, catch trips. Hey! Put yourself, man. Hey, she's worth the stress. I promise you, she's worth it. 
You guys are badass. Every time strokes is all yours. It's all yours, bro. Move your shirt, bro. Okay. Enjoy. Birthday boy! Let me know. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Okay. Easy. Okay, hey, hey. I can't do myself. Abba. Okay. What the boss? Make sure you come home. <laughs> oh, of course you will. Enjoy, bro. Feed. Uh. Yup. That's it. That a boy. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Frappe boy. This guy is such a mess. Hated men after that. As the last man rammed in and out of me, I felt like stabbing him in the back for him to feel the pain he was inflicting on me. All because he wanted to have sex with a strange woman on his birthday. After the exercise, I felt so weak. One of them threw me on the shoulder and walked through the house to the car, threw me into the back seat. No, mother. Why are your eyes teary? Ew. His story, your story is sad. to write down the date on the memory of my heart. September 8th, 2015. A day I will never forget. <sighs> what? What's wrong? Hey, Charlie. Where are you headed? School. You. Oh my god. We don't see you. You were the one who inflicted this eternal pain in my life. Listen. I can explain this. Alright, please just give me a minute. Let me explain this, alright? Please, it's not what you think. Lisa. 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 That is the story I refuse to share. Lisa, I don't think you're telling the truth. Yes, 
Because if everything you've said is true, he should be the one on the run. We both should go out there and tell the entire world and his useless fans what a terrible rapist he is. Let's go. No, 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 wait. Wait. I was wrong. We both were wrong. I mean, I was so bitter in my heart because I got to find out that he was one of the guys that ruined my life. Devin says she never see you for some reason. But yeah. Some don't even complain, give madame say you don't want to screw them. Abba. I want to be alone. The gate was open. The gate man is not at his post. Thanks for coming. Please sit down. That won't be necessary. I am not here for that. I'm here for a specific reason. I didn't know I was going to see you again, so I was writing. I wrote a letter to bring to the. Brattle? That won't be necessary. Lisa, please give me a chance to explain everything to you. Give me the letter. I promise you I'm going to read it. Don't you ever think I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to spread that which you and your men gave to me. I don't ever want to see you again. Lisa, wait, wait, I don't know. Lisa, wait, 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 wait.
and God brought you in the nick of time to save me from death. This is so unbelievable. She needs to be prosecuted for this. Come on, Charles, why no? This girl tried to kill you. And you're here telling me that you should go just cut free. Now that the wind of justice has blown her right into your trap. I'm not completely innocent. Yeah, that is true. But you tried your best to explain things to her. If only she had read my letter. Perhaps she would not have gotten so deep in her plans for vengeance. Charlie, how are you doing? Why is my head aching like this? But it's supposed to ache. What did you guys do? Right now, Charles, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You were drunk. Oh, you drugged me. Ah, you guys, you drugged me on my birthday. Ah! Come on. Wait, don't, wait, wait. Don't tell me what I'm thinking is true. But it is. You, the girl, last night. I mean, come on. Uh, that's the joy of every musician having a regular at the beck and call, so why should yours be any different? Think about it. Dude, get yourself in here, man. I'm outside. Pretty boy! You're looking dapper, as always. After I read the story, he wrote in his letter. I had so much regret. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. But it was too late. I thought he was dead. And the police. Coming after me. So the holy day. I left Port Harcourt for Lagos to start life afresh as a businesswoman. to make ends meet, but to carry out vengeance against all men. No, Lisa. Look, okay, baby. I'm 
I don't know what she has told you, but you need to hear my own side of the story. I have heard everything. Everything, Charles. What did she tell you? The truth. What truth? What truth? What? You want to rape me too? You want to drug me like you drugged her so you would rape me as well? Excuse me? You are quite excused. Please. You're being overly emotional right now. So please sit down, calm down, tell me everything she told you. There is nothing! There is nothing more to say! But I'm just glad I got to find out exactly who you are just at the right time. <laughs> Charles, I never, ever, 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 ever want to see you again in my life! Sylvia. Sylvia, no. Sylvia! Adamu? Adamu? Yes, sir. Open the gate.
Charles. Charles, I... Look, Sylvia, can we talk about this later? I have things to sort out. With Lisa? With everything. Okay, I... I said, can we talk later? Okay. Um, is it, is it okay if I just wait? If you wish. Susan, how are you? Good morning, Chief. Yes, young man, how may I help you? As you can see, I am very busy. Chief, I'm very sorry. I take the blame for everything that has happened. I rushed here this early to tender my unreserved apology to you and to the entire members of Easy Records. Apology accepted. But we cannot continue to keep up with the incessant embarrassment your inconsistencies bring to us. <sighs> Chief, my past came calling. You always have an excuse, don't you? The last time you were invited to sing at the governor's party, you kept everyone waiting only to show up at the close of the party. What did we do? We forgave you, right? We did. Chief. Chief. And two months ago, for reasons no one can explain, you turned down a record deal that we have signed already, which would have brought us so much money. We forgave you still. We did. And now you are here to ask for another pardon. After the embarrassment you caused me and all the people that attended my birthday party, how could you, Charles? How could you? Chief. Listen, Charles. Easy Records label would be most ungrateful if we fail to mention how beneficial your talent has been to us. But it will interest you to know that we have come a very long way in this music team. We would rather let go of our best voices rather than losing the reputation we have built over the years. That is our position. What, 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 what are you saying? Charles, you have lost your place here.
Charles. Charles, we need to talk. Charles! Charles, we need to talk. Sylvia, leave my way. We need to talk. Sylvia, for the last time, leave my way. Charles, for the last time, we need to talk. If you think that you have my attention at this moment, at this point in my life where everything is falling apart, then you better wake up from your dream. And who's to blame, me? Yes! Yes, you. Isn't it obvious? Let me break it down for you. Lisa came into my life and she paved the way for my breakthrough. But you? I just proposed to you a few days ago only to lose the only source of wealth which you have been enjoying all this while. You are such an arrogant and unrepentant fool. If you had told me about your path, could I not have known you were once engaged to my friend? You had the nerve to slap me? And if you use one more word of insult on me, I will pour out my venom of bitterness on you. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Of Sophie? course I do! Uh. I just pulled out of this sham of a relationship. Charles, I came here to seek peace with you, thinking I could forgive you and maybe walk down the aisle with you. But I just realized that you are nothing like the Charles David my friend Lisa told me about, not even close. I can't survive a union that is long characterized by secrets and scandals. I cannot. Oh, and if I could advise you sincerely, drop the music thing and be humble again. And until you can forgive everything, I mean everything, Charles. Do not ever ask a lady out or propose marriage, ever. Perv. I would have chosen to cry you an ocean of tears 
even to show you how deeply sorry I am. I failed you both. My choices as a young girl has led me to the path of destruction. Which has brought me to this miserable end. <laughs> Losing both of you. <laughs> means losing everything. Life without you. means that I'll have to live with this pain of being eternally separated from you. But I live with the hope that one day, someday, I'll see both of you again. And I'll have the chance to look into your eyes and to say to you, how much I love you and how much I am so sorry. I can turn the hands of time, but it's too late. <laughs> I'm sorry.
I see you've come to fulfill your promise of vengeance. To bring me to the doorstep of justice for all the crimes committed against you. No. I have come in search of a new beginning. I searched for this place. I asked for directions for this place. To come and find freedom. Lisa, a lot has happened. And I am at the center as the guilty one. I know I don't deserve you anymore. And I know that I will be asking for too much. If I ask that you spend the rest of your life with me. I have become wild and proud since you left me. And you left me not only with the wound from the stab of a knife, you also absconded with my heart. And it caused me to run up in darkness, to dwell in hate. I have done unimaginable things to women, all in an attempt to avenge the heart of losing you. If I ever meant anything to you, if you ever felt anything for me, then please set me free from this prison. A pound of my flesh will heal your wounds. Vengeance is of the Lord. That is one thing I have learned from our story. I have lost everything. Me too. I've lost everything. Everything is gone. Can't you see? Can't you see this? Our miseries have brought us again together at this junction of love. Finding us in each other's arms again. Can we not lose each other again? Can we remain glued to each other for, for eternity? I'm HIV positive. Me too. And all I have done is to spread it to as many women as possible. Can you just stop this madness and find your feet in the path of destiny? I have lost everything, Lisa. I know that with you, that I can, I can get back again on my feet. If only you accept to be with me again. Charles David, thank you. Thank you for forgiving me. I mean, I'm so grateful that you can look into my eyes and find me worthy to be the woman of your dreams. I never thought this day was made to come. Now you're here asking for my hand in marriage again. Just say yes. And we can begin on this journey again. I wish to do that easy. I wish it were that easy. I wish I could just close my eyes and say yes. And we can start all over again. I'm married. I 
I found a man. I was willing to get married to me despite my status. Even though I had to tell him a lot of lies about everything. I got someone to represent my father and my mother. But now, I know that I have to go back to him and tell him everything. I really don't care about the consequences. I have to do the needful. Okay. Can we just... Shh. Please. Don't say it. Please. Even if I get divorced by my husband, I'm not sure that I'm ready for marriage again. It will take centuries for me to open up to that again. My today is ruined by my choices of yesterday. I will need to inquire from God my decisions on marriage for it to happen again. I don't know what to say, but at this time, I really have to say this, Charles. <laughs> <laughs>